New stories emerging every day about the hardship refugees from Syria are facing. The pressure keeps building on Stephen Harper to take action, to answer the call from thousands of Canadians to give more Syrians a lifeline. And today, a group of high-profile aid agencies and humanitarian groups gave Harper a very specific list of things they say he can, can and should do. Vashi Capellos is following this story for us. Vashi? Donna Harper is now suggesting his party will soon unveil a new plan to address the Syrian refugee crisis. He's not revealing any details, but a group of Canadian advocacy organizations is making concrete suggestions about how to fill in the blanks. Can Canada do more? A key question dogging the election trail as Canadians continue to be confronted with devastating images of what Syrian refugees are facing. The Conservatives promised in August to bring 10,000 additional refugees from Syria and Iraq if re-elected, for a total of 20,000. But under pressure to do more, the party has cited security as a major concern. When we are dealing with people who are from, uh, in many cases, a terrorist war zone, we are going to make sure that we screen people appropriately. The NDP would resettle 10,000 Syrian refugees by the end of this year, then take in an extra 9,000 a year for the next four years, while Liberals say they'll resettle 25,000 refugees as soon as possible. But a group of 12 advocacy organizations is tired of the political back and forth. Their action plan asks the government to admit an extra 10,000 government-sponsored refugees, focus on family-linked admissions, pour more resources into speeding up private sponsorship, and hold a national summit. It is a very complex issue, but if you want to start, here are the things that you need to start with. And it's about finding the resources and it's about finding the political will to do that. Both the NDP and Liberals say they would address every point in this action plan, while the Conservatives say they've already redirected resources towards speeding up the process of resettlement, bringing down processing times by 50 percent since 2012. Sources say the details of Harper's plan to address the Syrian refugee crisis, still a mystery at this point, will become clear next week.